Hello. Uh, today I'm going to give a short update of uh, what we've been working on uh, on the Logom team. Uh, you can see I have here uh, the Chirper project open up, but one difference about this is there are no build.sbt files. Uh, there's no SBT files at all. Uh, there are only Maven POM files. So here's the parent POM for the, for the whole Chirper system. I've defined the modules for each service. There's an API and implementation for each, plus the play front end. Uh, if we scroll down here, we can see uh, the logon plugin is configured. We can see the Maven compiler plugin is configured to use version uh, to use JDK 8. And um, like a good Maven build, we've configured plugin management and dependency management to ensure that uh, versions are managed in one place and not in each service individually. So having a look at one of the API projects, pretty simple. It's just got a dependency on the Largon um, Java DSL API. And you can see here the Scala binary version is there. There are possibly some things we could probably doubly publish everything to remove the binary version, um, but I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, here's the implementation of the Friends service or the POM for it. You can see um, We've got a dependency on the friend API. We've got a dependency on the logom server. In SBT, you wouldn't have to explicitly add this because uh, it's very easy in SBT plugins to dynamically add library dependencies. Uh, but in, in Maven, um, that's not really possible. So uh, we have to um, manually add it here. The persistence library is added. Uh, log back and the Netty server um, play requires you to explicitly depend on an implementation of the server which is usually handled by um, an SBT plugin to do it for you but in Maven um, we don't have that like before so we have to uh, specify that um, explicitly. And finally we've uh, configured the Logom Maven plugin down here to say this is a Logom service and Logom um, is going to uh, use that to work out which uh, Maven modules are services that should be run. Uh, similarly, activity stream depends on the APIs of the other um, projects and it's a, a service. Uh, here's the, uh, the Logom front end is written in play. Uh, it doesn't actually have any dependencies on Logom, it just depends on, on play. Uh, we've added some play dependencies, some WebJars dependencies, um, we've configured the Largon Maven plugin and told it that this is a play service. Uh, it needs to know that because it needs to run the play services slightly differently to a Largon service. Uh, we've added the Troll plugin, Scala plugin, and this is to uh, some uh, the Maven front end plugin which uh, runs Node to be able to compile our React uh, JS um, uh, files in the front end. So let's try and run this. I'm going to run Maven, Logom, run all. So a lot of this should be familiar from the SBT plugin. You can see it started Cassandra. It's also going to start the service locator and service gateway, and then it's going to start each service. Now, uh, it's compiling each service first. So this is quite noisy because uh, Maven is quite noisy and it's not difficult for it's not easy for a user to control this. Uh, Maven also doesn't provide very good incremental compilation support so um, it's having to redo a lot of things every time um, which slows down things a little bit. But now it's started all the services uh, you can see the familiar services started message and uh, we should be able to use our uh, chirper system now. So here we are, I've written some tweets already, or chirps, and you can see that's that's working. Okay, so one of the big features of, of Logom is hot reloads. Um, so let's see, and it's also one of the harder features to implement with a build tool. So let's see if we can uh, modify the chirp service uh, and see if that will reload. So you can see here, um, I've just added some code that will print out each chirp before it sends it down the WebSocket. Uh, we'll go to, um, and you can see it's already detected that change, so when I saved in IntelliJ, it's recompiled and reloaded the chirp service. So let's have a look. 
if we refresh here, uh, go back and we can see that it's out, put all of those messages. Uh, what about the play service? So um, if I go to the uh, controller in there, you can see there I've got this message. Uh, I'll just add changed in there. What we should see is uh, it will detect that change. It's got to run all the uh, node stuff to do the ReactJS compiler again, which is a bit slow, uh, but it does reload. And now if we go into here uh, and hit refresh, uh, we go back to the message and can see that changed message. So that's our demo. Um, uh, essentially what's working is, is everything that's needed for the uh, Chirpa demo. Uh, things are fairly configurable in the same way that it's configurable in the SBT. Um, plug in, there's still a little bit of work to go there. The main things that need to be done are we need to document this, we need to write a test harness for testing uh, the Maven plugin, um, which involves run, running Maven and things like that. We also uh, will need to uh, um, implement or create some Maven archetypes for creating new projects the same way that we currently use Activator to create um, new projects uh, for SBT. Um, the overall code um, for this is um, not too bad, probably about a thousand lines of code that's, that's actually talking to Maven. Um, it's, um, we have to use some fairly low level Maven APIs. The high level APIs allow, um, are quite easy to use, but when you use them it will re-parse all the POM files, it will re, um, it will re uh, resolve all your dependencies every time you recompile and um, given that Maven doesn't support incremental compilation we want to get those um, reloads down as quickly as possible so we use some lower level APIs which require an, an in-depth understanding of Maven and to know how to use them to, to resolve dependencies and to, um, and, and to issue uh, life cycle phases. Um, a lot of the work has also been done in um, extracting the common logic from the uh, SBT plugin so that um, so that things that can be implemented once are only implemented once. So that's the demo. Thanks for listening.